Hello and welcome to ActiveNet Insights. Today, our ActiveNet Insight is with a new customer to ActiveNet. They've never been to a face-to-face -face event, but they're coming to our online event. So, Jamie, can you tell us who you are, what you do, and where you do it, please? Yep, thank you, David. Uh, my name's Jamie Owens. I'm Director of Fitness Partnerships at Hustle, um, and I've been with the business for 18 months now, uh, after nearly 20 years in the sector as an operator. So, um, I've come over to the dark side, but hopefully with a, a positive new story for, for, for gyms out there in the sector. Uh, you can't call it the dark side. Um, <laughs> That's operating exactly in that there. supplier side as well. This is all about enhancing our customers' experiences using the best tools that are out there. So to just give us a, an idea. What is it that Hustle do? Um, so to help, I guess, I'll, I'll tell you what we stand for. So, you know, we, we try and do two things. We're trying to grow participation. So we're trying to help customers access fitness throughout the UK. And that's you know, one of the things that we're trying to do. As a result of that, we're trying to add value for our gym customers. So by, by that, I mean the gym suppliers that work with us. We mm -hmm. want to add value to their business model. You know, our customers generally, the, the, the kind of the membership model doesn't work for them. So we try and send incremental customers into gym venues up and down the UK. And as a result, grow, grow participation. Okay, fantastic. So what are the, the, the operators you work with? Give us a few of the names. Oh, wow. So, if, you know, throughout the 10 years that we've been running, we, we work with companies like uh, 3D Leisure, like Village mm -hmm. Hotels, like some of the local authority providers. We work with hotel chains like Living Well, and we work with independents. Right. Um, so we've got a real mixed bag. We've got just shy of 2,000 venues on our platform, which cover around 96% of the postcode to the UK. So it's a real, real mixed bag in terms of the type of venue which is on the platform. Okay, brilliant. And you mentioned you've been around for 10 years, but you've not been called Hustle for 10 years, have you? So Yeah, correct. So we used to be known as Pay As You Gym, uh, and then we rebranded as Hustle uh, about three, three and a half years ago. Right, okay, fine. So that gives a bit of longevity, and, and people may have heard of you in the past, but Hustle is the name that we're looking out for for ActiveNet, which is great. So why did you decide to make ActiveNet Online your first foray into this this type of event for us um well first of all we're a great fan um so and you know we're, we're very interested in some of the brands that you work with already so i think you know as i mentioned we work with um a, some of the public sector brands already but there's mm -hmm. lots of brands that we don't work with so it feels like it just gives us a good opportunity and a good platform to talk to some of those businesses around how we might be able to help and, and some of the problems that we can solve for them OK, fantastic. All right. So so let's think about then some of those issues that you can help solve. What sort of things are you going to be talking to our biodelegates about on the 24th and 25th of March? So um, I guess it probably helps to articulate a little bit more about what, what we're trying to achieve as a business. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we, we as I said at the start, we're, we're looking to drive incremental customers into venues. So we've got a few ways of doing that, a few products that we have. Um, one of our products is like a monthly pass. So that's a multi-site pass, which is a small amount of our membership mix, a small amount of our customer mix. And what these customers want is more than one venue with frequency. So they generally use between two and three different venues a month, and they'll use those venues six, six times, for example. Okay. So yeah. a, a normal membership wouldn't work for these customers because they'd have to join two different yeah. venues. So you know that, that, that kind of doesn't work. So for the gym partners, that gives them incremental revenue. You know, customers that aren't going to join them, but they'll get the money from them. Um, the more interesting mix of our customers is our kind of try before you buy customers. Mm -hmm. So that represents the biggest chunk of our consumer base. And typically these customers actually convert into direct joiners. So around about 26% of these customers will actually join the gym directly, which hopefully presents a really, really nice channel for gyms mm -hmm. reopening to help regrow membership. Uh, and that's what we kind of, I guess we've evolved that product slightly and we're in the, the current process of some pilots and building out what we're calling our membership conversion service. Right. So what that means is without boring you to death on it, um, we, we basically qualify customers as soon as we can and based on their habits and based on their usage wants, we'll sign them up and, and present them as memberships to the gym mm -hmm. directly. So, you know, what we're trying to say is if a membership's right for you, then let's serve you up as a member to the gym as soon as possible. So hopefully that kind of demonstrates our, our desires to help the sector recover and, and help yeah. kind of regrow membership. And lastly, we've got a small customer base, which are probably quite a new one. And we call these a share of wallet customer. 
So if you think about the people that are maybe already a gym member elsewhere, but might want to use somewhere that maybe has a swimming pool that they currently okay. doesn't yep. have, or someone that maybe uses Peloton or has got a digital subscription somewhere else, mm -hmm. and they want to just top that up with some access to venues ad hoc, um, that works for our customer base as well, because they can access okay. venues as and when they, they, they wish. Um, and that's the kind of the incrementality bit as well pushing revenue. Yeah. So yeah, there's a few different customers, but ultimately, you know, all of our customers are, are, are not, it, they, they, a, a gym membership doesn't fit. It doesn't mm. work for them, you know, and prior to lockdown, when we were sort of around about 15% of the population joining a gym, there's a massive opportunity for all those other people that wish to access fitness, but, but not in the way that was on offer before. Yeah, and, and that's a really interesting piece. I, I do a number of these conversations around the experience recovery is how are we going to get people looking at things in a different way? And what's interesting from your point of view, I guess it allows people to dip their toe without a commitment. It gives them a chance to, to sample everything that's in their locality. And I'm guessing that that for some customers who are contemplating or pre-contemplating is a really powerful way of just doing something without the commitment and the fear of commitment as well. I think that just sounds like a great product. Yeah, absolutely. And, and just to, to add to that, so a, another benefit for us, and a, I guess what, what we're able to do on behalf of our gym partners is use that network scale. So mm -hmm. as I mentioned at the start, we've got nearly 2000 venues that sit on our platform. That empowers us to have conversations with big brands and offer fitness as a benefit to their consumer base. So. Mm -hmm. You know, we work with brands like well, Premier Inn, you know, Monzo, Vodafone, customers that have got scale. And rather than the cinema vouchers or the coffee mm -hmm. vouchers, we can send them into venues up and down the UK. Uh, and that helps grow opportunities for our gym partners as well. You know, because yeah. one single gym chain kind of struggles to do that, to have that conversation because they don't have the network coverage or the variation of facilities or you know, to be able to offer to these big consumer bases. So through the network, we can create another channel. You know, it's, it's almost like a free marketing channel for our customers yeah. to have new, new, new footfall coming in, which hopefully they can convert into their own. Yeah, it, it's a really interesting spin on, on what would traditionally be called the corporate membership. Yeah, that piece around being able to reward somebody who you employ with the gift of fitness. What a great way of looking after your employees and making sure effective and efficient and less sickness and things like that and also rewarding at the same time what a great idea yeah no exactly so that 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 helps our customers no end in terms of a, an additional stream of footfall coming in no yeah, that's fantastic so from um, hustle's point of view then it, i guess it's relatively easy for an operator to interact with you it's a it's a conversation with with someone like yourself and, and find out how to, to make it work. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, first of all, it, it's free. So it doesn't cost anything for a gym to be listed on the platform. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we're, we're always open to conversations with new operators around being able to push customers into their venues. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're always looking for, for, for new venues coming on that are offering mm -hmm. a range of facilities to our customers. So I think that what, what we're interested in doing is just starting that dialogue, you know, having yeah. that conversation maybe dispelling a few myths and, and just kind of chatting through how we can help. And um, like I did myself, you know, as an ex-operator, I went through this journey myself when I was working for Nuffield Health and, and kind of having the guys at, at Hustle come to me and talk to mm. me about the product. And you know, it was a really interesting journey, really interesting learnings going through that pilot, then rollout and, and then ongoing management of the relationship. So yeah, you know, we'd be keen to talk to anyone who's interested for sure. Okay. Well, look, Jenny, we're, we're going to conclude our conversation, but I will put uh, contact details for you in all of the social media posts when we advertise this and look forward to seeing you acting there. So thank you so much for your time. No, I appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you too. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Jamie. Bye-bye.